everyone. Very excited to share with you some healing Bible verses, as we promised from our lecture together. Um, Sylvia and I will be sharing, uh, reading one at a time, and we're so excited to have you just sit back and listen and allow these to be spoken over your body. For I will restore you to health, and I will heal you of your wounds, declares the Lord. Jeremiah 30, 17. And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you, make you strong, firm, and steadfast. 1 Peter 5, 10. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians 1, 6. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. Hebrews 10, 23. Those who know your name will trust in you, for you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Psalms 9, 10. Again, I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything you ask for, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. Matthew 18, 19. And on the basis of faith in his name, it is the name of Jesus, which has strengthened you, and the faith which comes through him has given you this perfect help in the presence of you all. Acts 3.16 we can be confident that he will listen to us whenever we ask him for anything in line with his will. And if we know he is listening when we make our requests, we can be sure that he will give us what we ask for. 1 John 5, 14 and 15. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. Jeremiah 17, 14. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed and restores them from their bed of illness. Psalm 41.3 He said, if you listen carefully to the voice of the Lord, your God, and do what is right in his eyes, if you pay attention to his commands and keep all his decrees, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Exodus 15.26 if you pay attention to these laws and are careful to follow them, then the Lord your God will keep his covenant of love with you and he swore as he swore to your forefathers. The Lord will keep you free from every disease. Deuteronomy 7, 12 and 15. O Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy. In your faithfulness and righteousness come to my relief. For your name's sake, O Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. Psalms 143, 1, 11. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He sent forth his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for man. Psalm 107, 19-21. The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. Nahum 1, 7. Stretch out your hand, Lord God, to heal and perform miracle, miraculous signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. Acts 4, 30. Have faith in God. I tell you the truth. If anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen. If I will be, it will be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Mark eleven twenty two to 24. The apostle said to the Lord, increase our faith. He replied, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted on the sea, and it will obey you. Luke 17, 5 to 6. 
I have seen his ways, but I will heal him. I will guide him and restore, com restore comfort to him, creating praise on the lips, peace, peace to those far and near, says the Lord, and I will heal them. Isaiah 57, 18 to 19. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Proverbs 3, 7 to 8. You will not have to fight this battle. Take up your positions. Stand firm and see the deliverance of the Lord will, it'll give you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Go out to face them tomorrow and the Lord will be with you. Second Chronicles 20, 17. The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him and the one who seeks him. It is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. Lamentation 3, 25 to 26. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget none of his benefits. One, he forgives all your sins. Two, he heals all your diseases. Three, he redeems your life from destruction. Four, he crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Five, he satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Six, he executes righteousness and judgment for you against oppression. He sets you free. Seven, he makes known his ways to you. Eight, he gives you his grace and mercy in times of need. Psalms 103, 2 through 8. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. He who sacrifice thanks offerings honors me. And he prepares a way so that I may show him the salvation of God. Psalm 50, 15 and 23. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. The Lord's unfailing love surrounds the man who trusts in him. Rejoice in the Lord and be glad. You righteous, sing, all you who are upright in heart. Psalms 32, 7 to 8 and 10 to 11. He holds victory in store for the upright. He is a shield to those whose walk is blameless, for he guards the course of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones. Then you will understand what is right and just and fair, every good path. For wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. This creation will protect you and understanding will guard you. Proverbs 2, 7-11. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your gentle spirit be known to all men. The Lord is near. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, Whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good rapport. If there is any excellence and if anything worthy of praise, dwell on these things, the things you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Practice these things and the God of peace will be with you. Philippians 4, 4 through 9. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and rescues them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. How blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. For to those who fear him, there is no want. But they who seek the Lord shall not be in want of any good thing. Psalm 34, 7 to 10. My God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Now to our God and Father be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Philippians 4, 19 through 20. Beloved, I pray that in all respects you may prosper and be in good health, just as your soul prospers. 3 John 1, 2. Therefore, I urge you, brethren, by the mercies of God, 
to present your bodies a living and holy sacrifice acceptable to God, which is your spiritual service of worship. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect. Romans 12, one through two. I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but will have sufficient courage so that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body. Philippians 1.20 Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows, yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was cursed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. Isaiah 53, 4 through 5. My son, pay attention to what I say. Listen closely to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to a man's whole body. Proverbs 4, 20 to 22. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans 15, 13. And hope does not disappoint us because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, whom he has given us. Romans 5, 5. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Matthew 6, 9 through 10. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Psalm 118, 23. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41, 10. The Lord will sustain him on a sick bed and restore him from his bed of illness. Psalm 41, 3. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will do this. Psalms 37, 5. Find rest, O my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. Psalm 62, 5 to 6. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Mark 5, 34. This day I call heaven and earth as witnesses against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Now choose life, so that you and your children may live, and that you may love the Lord your God, listen to his voice, and hold fast to him. For the Lord is your life, and he will give you many years. Deuteronomy 30, 19 and 20. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Deuteronomy 31, 6. You know with all your heart and soul that not one of all the good promises the Lord your God gave you has failed. Every promise has been fulfilled. Not one has failed. Joshua 23, 14. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Psalm 24, 14. Abraham did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God, being fully persuaded that God had power to do whatever he had promised. Romans 4, 20-21 What do you imagine against the Lord? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up the second time. Nahum 1, 9 May those who fear you rejoice when they see me, for I have Put my hope in your word. Psalm 119, 74. According to your faith, will it be done to you? Matthew 9, 29. Anyone among your sick, let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. James 5. 14 and 15. In honor of Jesus, sacrifice 
at Calvary refused to accept anything less than the divine help. Remember your word to your servant, for you have given me hope. My comfort and my suffering is this. Your promise preserves my life. Psalm 119, 49, 50. He will surely be gracious to you at the sound of your cry. When he hears it, he will answer you. Isaiah 30, 19. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and on his wings he will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord, who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent because he loves me, says the Lord. I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalms 91. Well, thank you so much for listening to these Bible verses. Listen to them over and over to let them penetrate into your heart and into every cell to accept maximum healing and excellence in your wealth and health. So thank you so much. And please remember that all Bible verses, when you hear a you, you can also replace it with I. So especially when you read Psalm 91, when you replace a you with the I, it's even more powerful and you can even put your own name in there. So when you start reading, it will sound like, I who dwell in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God and who I trust. Surely he will save me from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence, and he will cover me with his feathers, and under his wings I will find refuge. You already notice how personalized all the verses are. They are made for you. So read them over and over and trust in the Holy Spirit that you already got this. You're already healthy, you're already whole, you are enough, and you are absolutely loved by him. To maximum health, our focus of the year 2024, health. Thank you so much and receive joy. <laughs>